So I have two monitors right behind me. On the left, I have the Dell U2723QE, and then on the right, I have the Apple Studio Display. And if you are in the market for a monitor and you're kind of curious about Dell's top selling 4K monitor versus Apple's studio display. Well, look no further. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and compare them both and kind of help you decide which one you should choose. So without further ado, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I'm a little bit biased because I do like the Apple studio display. If you have the money, go ahead and get the Apple studio display. If you are on a budget, like a really tight budget, then get the Dell monitor. It's the best bang for your buck. But if you want the best of the best, then save up a little bit and get yourself the Apple Studio display because it will not disappoint at all. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the pixel density because this is the most important thing. So in the Dell monitor, it is 4K. The Apple Studio display is going to be 5K. The amount of pixels that you're getting in the Dell monitor is going to be 8 million, while in the Apple Studio display you are getting double the amount of pixels, which is 14 million. So what does that mean? It means that your text, your images, they're gonna be much sharper, much more clearer. It's just going to be a higher resolution, I mean, obviously. And everything is just gonna look a lot more crisp. Even sitting at, you know, arm's length away from both monitors, you, I can tell the difference in terms of clarity of text, pictures, and all of that. The 4K, if you're just looking at the 4K itself, it looks really good, but right next to the Apple Studio display, in comparison, the Dell monitor, it just looks, the text and the pictures just look a little bit fuzzy. Apple Studio display, it is clear, sharp, nice, clear. Another big factor about monitors is the brightness. Because I work next to this big window here, I do get a lot of natural sunlight. So I do need a monitor that can provide me a high enough brightness so I can see during the day. The Dell monitor is about 400 nits. The Apple Studio display is about 600 nits. Apple Studio display, I mean, it's just brighter. It's brighter, that's it. I mean, there's nothing much more to say about this. It's noticeably brighter. I can get away with the Dell monitor during the day, it's fine, but the Apple, Apple Studio display is a lot much more easier to look at during the day. These monitors are top of the line if you do a lot of color editing, video editing, any kind of creativity work. The Dell monitor is a solid choice. However, the Apple Studio display has a much wider color space. It covers 25% more color than the sRGB standard, which means that it can display a broader range of colors, especially in the red and green spectrum. And then if you are also part of the Apple ecosystem, it's just all tightly integrated with the rest of Apple's devices. Next thing is going to be the contrast ratio. The contrast ratio for the Dell monitor monitor is about 2000 to 1 and the Apple Studio display is about 1200 to 1. What it means is that the Dell monitor should on paper and in theory have deeper blacks than the D Apple Studio display. If speakers is super important to you, then unfortunately the Dell monitor does not have any speakers. The Apple Studio display, however, has an amazing sound system built into the monitor. It has a high fidelity six speaker system, four force canceling woofers, and two high performance tweeters. And it delivers one of the best sounds that I've heard from a monitor by far. The sound is so much better than coming from the HomePod Mini, which is a dedicated speaker. Both monitors are 60 hertz refresh rate. If you are a gamer and want like a higher refresh rate, then both of these monitors are not for you. However, and you're just looking for a monitor to get your professional work done, then both of these monitors at 60 hertz refresh rate will definitely get the job done. So the Dell one is about $500, $550 and the Apple Studio display can, it starts at $1,600, which is like triple the price. You can wait for a major sale to happen. I got my Apple Studio display for $1,200 when Best Buy was having a sale. And I know Dell monitors go on sale too. I bought this around Black Friday and I'm, I got it for like $400. 
Um, so if you're just waiting around for a big holiday sale, you'll get the most bang for your buck as well. So like I mentioned, if you're looking for the best all around value, with great color accuracy, deep contrast, don't mind using headphones, then the Dell monitor is a fantastic choice. It's perfect for most professional workflows without the Apple price tag. However, if you need the highest resolution, you need better brightness, you need a inbuilt speaker system, or you're just someone who just has money must be nice then just get the apple studio display it's hard to be so all in all it just comes down to what you prioritize most do you prioritize value which is what you would get in a dell or do you prioritize luxury which is what you would get in the apple studio display so i hope this video helps let me know in the comments which one you decide to go for thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye